Arizona really could benefit from hiring more genetic counselors. There are currently seven clinical genetic counselors in the Phoenix area, and there are three here in Tucson. Our national organization estimated that there should be one for every 75,000 population. That means we'd need to add 11 more genetic counselors. And our goal as a program then is to make those genetic counselors available, particularly ones who want to stay in Arizona. I did grow up in Phoenix, Arizona, and I've lived in Arizona pretty much my whole life. I know that going to school at the University of Arizona, I would be able to reach certain populations that I might not be able to reach at other schools, such as the indigenous population here and the Hispanic population here, two of which I am a part of. That's one of the things that we bring to the field of genetic counseling is the culture, the, the population, the um, spirit, I guess, of the Southwest that really makes us unique. I'm doing a capstone project where I hope to go out to Arizona high schools with high minority populations and do outreach about the field of genetic counseling um, because a lot of these minorities might not hear about the field and I hope to um, knock down at least a few of these barriers and help spread the word. Genetics has evolved so much in the last few years. Um, that it is really hard for primary care practitioners to keep up with it. It's even hard for me to keep up with it and it is my field. With all of these new tests, primary care physicians often don't know what tests to order because there are specific tests that'll give you more, better information, but then also how to interpret the tests. For instance, if someone had a 23andMe test that suggested something, um, we would recommend that they get it done by a clinical lab um, for, as a confirmatory test. So there are a number and growing number of these private laboratories that hire a lot of genetic counselors. Here in Arizona, we're a pretty rural state. Um, the only services that are available in genetics are in Phoenix and Tucson. It leaves a big part of our state open. I believe that there's a great need, an expanding need, for genetic counseling services. The one part about genetic counseling that makes me the proudest would probably be the fact that you're able to spread information to patients and with that knowledge, they're able to make the decision that's right for them. You're able to empower them with knowledge where they can decide their own future. Our program opened in 2019 the first 10 students have been mostly, are, are now all over the country, working in pediatrics, cancer, industry, and prenatal. Our most recent two classes, we have a higher number of Arizona residents. You know, the individuals who come here for, for their education often leave after, but our current two classes um, has a number of individuals who want to stay in Arizona, and we're delighted by that.